Hey guys, I'm Gwendolyn, and this is the iFixit Rundown, where I give you all the news that's happening this month at iFixit. Here's what we've been up to. Over at our blog, we have a great story called Durable is the New Black, where we feature companies like Patagonia and Tom Cridlin who make it cool to repair old garments instead of pushing for you to buy new ones. Virtually an unheard of idea in the business world. And grab a tissue, because we tell you all about the saddest repair story you have ever heard. With the discontinuation of the Sony Ibo dog, in 2006, there's now a shortage of parts and repairmen to fix the family pet, giving the dog that was supposed to live forever an expiration date. We've had a few devices on our teardown table this month. Some were a little more willing to be opened than others. I'm looking at you, GoPro Hero 4 session. If you want to see the inside of the new iPod Touch or the aforementioned GoPro, check out the full teardowns at ifixit.com. Speaking of GoPro, we've added some new parts and tools to our store, including GoPro and Kindle parts. And if there's an iMac repair in your future, check out these awesome new iMac tools. The ever so helpful service wedge that allows you to work inside your iMac while holding it in place, and our newly redesigned iMac opening tool with the helpful cutting wheel and the new addition of the slice blade. As most of you know, we have a thriving community that meets on our answers page. Members receive reputation points for making guides and helping people out by answering their questions. Well, we think you guys are the coolest of the cool, and we want to make sure other people know it too. I want to send out a big congrats to both Dan and MacHead3, who surpassed the 100,000 rep points mark. This is impressive, guys. July at iFixit means Liberation Week. Earlier this month, we gave away 10,000 Liberation Kits. We sold out within hours and generated 11,000 social posts on Twitter and Facebook. Thanks for all the social love. You guys are awesome. And finally, we have some big news. iFixit is partnering with Electronic Recyclers International, the largest recycler of electronic waste in the world, to make repair possible for gadgets of all kinds. Together, we're working to keep as many electronics as possible in use and out of landfills. It doesn't make sense to shred functional electronic devices and components, especially when consumers and repair shops need quality repair parts. That's why we're working with ERI to harvest components from electronics slated for recycling. In doing so, we'll be able to help consumers repair devices that have never before had a steady supply of replacement parts. And that's your July iFixit Rundown. We want to hear from you. Tweet me a picture of your latest repair and I'll get you on the show. Make sure you keep up to date on all of our projects by following us on Twitter at iFixit or checking out our Facebook page at facebook.com slash iFixit. Hopefully you're already subscribed to our YouTube channel, but if you're not, go ahead and click that subscribe button now. Thanks for tuning in and we'll see you next time.